it's all here. The jackpot of leaks. Ambi's completely changed their naming scheme for gaming GPUs. We know what's coming. We have renders of the final reference design, release timing, and more. But before I get to that, we have info on the new 9000X3D chips and the RTX 5080 is releasing first. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, AMD has so far only launched the Ryzen 9800X3D, but if the past is any indication, they also have a 9950X3D and 9900X3D CPU left, and it looks like they are set to release them. As you can see right down here, leaker HXL on Twitter, well, first confirms that the 9950X3D is in fact a thing but also that the single-threaded clocks are equal to the regular 9950X as well as the multi-threaded clocks. He then more or less reiterates this and says that Zen 5 X3D has no frequency debuff. And this more or less confirms that the higher-end CPUs will not come with dual CCDs that have 3D vCache. Don't forget that earlier on there were some rumors that those higher end chips that come with two CCDs that both of them could in fact come with 3D vCache. But the reason we basically know that they don't now is because the 9800X3D launched with a lower frequency compared to the regular 9700X. This is of course a little bit of a typo, but we're talking about the regular 9700X. So if both of these, or at least the 9950X, though of course if the 9950X does it, we almost certainly will see the same thing with a 9900X 3D, but basically if they come with the same frequencies, it's pretty clear that they aren't coming with dual CCDs. With that said, it definitely still looks like they are in fact coming. Next up for today, NVIDIA is about to turn things around with their next-gen GPUs. But before I get to that, if you own a business and you aren't doing email marketing, you're really missing out. I mean, return on investment is through the roof, with some estimates as high as $44 for every dollar spent. And there's no better place than Mailer Lite. I've actually used them in the past where I would send out emails on discount codes for PC hardware. It was really just a fun thing that I did for a while. Either way, you can create landing pages for signups. They also have one of the best email creators out there. There's a ton of freedom to make some amazing emails. And get this, you can use this service completely free for your first 1,000 subscribers. Just visit my link in the description below. And that is an affiliate link, so it doesn't cost you anything more, but it helps the channel out. Now, back to the story, as you can see right down here, NVIDIA is set to launch their next generation RTX 50 Blackwell gaming GPUs at CES next year, but they're doing things a bit different this time around. For starters, while the announcement is at CES, the actual release is coming after. And according to WCCF Tech, NVIDIA plans to release the RTX 5080 first with the 5090 followed after. Now, don't worry too much as they state here, it doesn't mean it's gonna be launching much later. In fact, according to this, the wait time for the RTX 5090 will be just a few weeks after the regular RTX 5080. Meaning, if you were excited for the flagship 5090 GPU, don't worry, you won't have to wait long. And lastly for today, tons of leaks just poured in, giving us all the info on AMD's next-gen GPUs. Starting things off, AMD is set to make a pretty big change this time around. Originally, we assumed the company would go with the RX 8000 series for obvious reasons, but not only is AMD not doing that, they're completely changing it altogether. For starters, this one originally comes from a chip L editor who states, it says it starts with nine, but the second digit is zero and the third digit is seven. Then another leaker flat out came out and revealed the whole thing. As you can see, like I said, AMD didn't just skip the 8000 series for the 9000 series, which wouldn't be all that surprising. They skip around pretty often, but instead they actually copied Nvidia this time around going with, yeah, it's not RTX, it is still RX, but it's 90, 70, 90, 60, 90, 50, 
as well as 9040. Then you can see they still do have 8000 series, but this is integrated GPUs within their upcoming monster APUs. And the proof of this name change doesn't stop there because resident leaker Memomo underscore US actually found on a retailer site the actual name right here. You can see RX 9070 XT and RX 9070. And once again, yeah, that news still doesn't stop because AMD shared this post officially on Reddit. This is AMD official where obviously they're starting to market some things and they kind of shared something people weren't expecting. Yeah, okay, we see that. Looks like a typical Ryzen CPU, nothing special. Wait, what in the world is that? That's right, looks like AMD just inadvertently shared their founder, well, reference design. Obviously, NVIDIA calls theirs Founders Edition, but either way, this right here is AMD's reference design for that next gen 9000 series. And it still doesn't stop there because, as you can see here from video cards, they actually shared this is a very well known leaker who's definitely gotten tons of leaks accurate in the past. And this person does confirm that yes, this is in fact the shroud for next gen GPUs, specifically the RX 9070 XT. Now, before I move on, and yes, there is in fact more information to cover, but before I get to that, I wanted to really quickly go over the design. As you can see, this is pretty familiar from past designs from AMD. You know that I like more muted colors, just colors that can kind of go with anything. Obviously, if I had a very specific color in mind for a build, I wouldn't mind these, you know, blues and reds and things like that. But when it comes to reference cards, I really like a, you know, more muted design that can kind of go with pretty much anything. Either way, it's a triple fan design. And yeah, I mean, it looks pretty nice. I like it. But of course, let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Either way, moving on, like what we had sort of talked about a couple times in the past, it does in fact look like FSR 4 is set to release with this GPU or potentially just be announced. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, this one once again comes from this leaker who, like I've already said, is a very reliable AMD leaker. And he claims that the 9070 XT apparently is coming with FSR 4. And for those who've been following the channel, and of course, if you haven't been following the channel, what are you doing? Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon. But for those who already have, you know that AMD is all but pretty much confirmed that FSR 4 is actually set to use a neural network for the upscaling similar to NVIDIA's DLSS. So this one will definitely be very interesting. But not only that, He's also claiming that, in fact, the R9 X3D chips are coming with the RX 9070 XT release, which, of course, is set to come January 2025, which is CES. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's next-gen 9000 series GPUs? And what do you think about that name change? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to try out Mailer Life for free by visiting my link in the description below. And as always, have a great day.